I'm really fed up with it. This right here has hit home and I'm devastated. And I really, really wish that these young men and women would put the guns down. An honor roll student who enjoyed making TikTok videos was shot and killed Tuesday afternoon in North St. Louis County. Family members were shocked when they received a call that Nevaeh Smallwood had been shot while at her boyfriend's house. Nevaeh Smallwood was 13 years old. She lived in St. Louis County, Missouri, and was known as a smart, funny, loving, and girly girl. The youngest of two, that was my baby. My only girl. She is comical, she's goofy. She's just all around everything I ever asked for or wanted in a daughter. Nevea was also an honor student, and in her spare time, she enjoyed making TikTok videos, according to her great aunt. Her family stated she was all about her education, and she was set to attend eighth grade at the Lucas Crossing Complex on the University of Missouri-St. Louis campus, not even days before the start of school. The bright future student, life, was taken away. On the afternoon of August 3rd, Nevea was hanging out at her boyfriend's house. Sadly, that was the last day anyone would see Nevea alive. Instead of preparing for her first day back at middle school, a St. Louis family is planning a 13-year-old's funeral. Police say Nevea Smallwood's boyfriend shot and killed her Tuesday. On the afternoon of Tuesday, August 3rd, Nevea was hanging out at her boyfriend's house, according to reports. Reports allege her and her boyfriend was quote-unquote play fighting with a gun and it discharged accidentally. Officers with the St. Louis County Police Department were called to the home at around 3.50 for a report of a shooting. Police said a 13-year-old girl was pronounced dead at the scene. Family members were shocked when they received the call from the police that Nevea had been shot and killed. I'm trying to hold my tears back, but I can't because I'm so hurt. They were play fighting and he had a gun and it went off. According to reports, they didn't know where the boyfriend got the gun, but they did believe the shooting was accidental. In a press release, the police department said the juvenile suspect was taken into custody after the shooting. Police said they were investigating the incident as a homicide and the relationship between the suspect and Nevea. Her boyfriend was not charged with the death at the time of the incident, and they are still working on more information. Yes, I think he should be charged. I have to bury my child. I have to live with this every day. Police asked anyone with information in the area to call them at 636-529-8210 or Crime Stoppers at 866-371-8477. The loved ones of Nevaeh held a vigil last Wednesday. Many gathered to celebrate the young gifted girl that has such a bright future ahead of her. I will continue to keep the family and friends of Nevaeh in my thoughts and prayers. A GoFundMe page has been started to help with the unexpected funeral cost. I'll make sure I have that link down below in the pinned comment section. The reason I felt this story was important is because we are educating ourselves on protection. This is completely separate from the story, but we do need to talk about firearm safety and the importance of making sure they are away from children or 
children have proper gun knowledge. Unfortunately, this is not the first or last time a situation like this will happen. So where will the accountability lie so that the victim receives justice? You guys, let's continue this conversation in the comments. You guys, let me know your thoughts and your opinions about this. Love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And with that being said, don't forget to check on your loved ones. So we out here at Nevaeh's Vigil. Yeah. And balloon releasing. All these people are coming out to say goodbye to Nevaeh. Please say a prayer for this family as we go through a very trying time. I'll make sure I get the information out about the um, arrangements as soon as we have them taken care of. Nevaeh was 13 years old and she was shot by another minor at this home. It's a very, very hard time for us.